Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Ancient Ancestors. So today we're using the Thingamaguk, I think that's how you pronounce it, by Crowns. Um, it's just a herbivore build, it has some aces to knock people back. Oh my goodness. Anyways, so uh, yeah, the server seems to be quite crowded. Now I do want to highlight a couple things about the build first before we kind of like really get into it. It is really nice. I also modified it a little so that it has more cilia and the flagellums for a little more health and speed as well. Just because I could add them, so I didn't see why not to have them other than the fact that it costs more DNA. Other than that, um, I did modify it a tiny bit. I'll probably edit a picture of the original up on the screen, like the original post in the server. If you want to join the Discord server, link in the description. But um, yeah, it has the maze. Something really nice about it is that can, it can pretty much get into the any zone. Even a yellow zone, depending on where specifically you're trying to get into. It does have a lot of vision as well, having eyes and two eye stalks. Now, one immediate problem I want to mention is that it's really hard to eat because, like, food doesn't just go in. The maces kind of block it, which is a little annoying. Like, you see, well, I kind of messed that one up, but, like, if it's maximum size, I have to kind of run into it before it's small enough to uh, eat. On that, it's pretty okay, though. It doesn't have a crazy amount of like food appetite. I mean, it has more appetite than I would like. This is what I'm trying to say. So you have to kind of be consistently eating. It does help. I hate that stupid parasite so much. But um, what's this thing? Oh, we'll just feed off this dude. Come here. Thank you. Yeah, something I like doing those like bullying smaller creatures, like a dolphin. Hey, 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 hey. stay up. I was kidding, babe. That was funny, I have to kind of line the food up so I can properly eat. I also can't tell, but I feel like since the gyro and, um, I forgot what the drifty thing is called. The bloater, yeah. When they were added, I feel like the movement in the game kind of got a little smoother. Even if you're not using it. Which I do like. I'm not sure if I'm crazy. Or what, but I feel like the movement got a little less janky. Right? Obviously, Urchant build can't have a large server without. I'm so tired of these retard parasites. It's just annoying, honestly. And it sucks. I don't even have bloater, or they didn't have mace, so I, I just get knocked back for no reason because they just fly around. But it's whatever. Okay, another invisible parasite. I love that so much. Me when in someone uses chameleon. I think Chameleon is too good. Let's gut it. But, um, yeah. So, it has been a while since my last Ancient Ancestry video. In fact, it's been a while since a lot of really any videos. I've only started posting again recently, like the other day. And this is mostly because... Well, honestly, I don't really have much of a reason. I just didn't really feel like doing it. Had finals, all these AP tests. Well, you know, I'm done now, so I already start posting again. 
Now, I don't know how good my audio quality is right now, so hopefully it's not shit by the time I post this. I'll figure it out or something. When I was doing my other video, the- can I fit through? Oh nice, I can. can go right to the center of the map. But uh, oh yeah, like I was when I was recording it, it was so weird. Cause I finished it and then I realized the audio is like really messed up. Okay guys. Not the mouthless spike uh, drill head. That's a little silly, I ain't gonna lie. Oh, it's a toxin dude. I'm gonna hit him. <laughs> this dude thinks he's using Glacian. He doesn't even have a slow to keep in the toxin. Do I know this person? I'm not even sure if I do. Nah, they're chilling. Hey, get away, get away. I hate persons. You know you're doing God's work when the player says stop. Okay, guys. I love that so much. I don't even see the parasites on him, which is how I keep running into him. I don't know how, I must be blind. Okay, guys, let me eat. I'm not trying to starve to death again. Hello? Let me eat, please. Damn. Yeah, it's kind. Of, it's really rough eating though with this uh, build. It's not bad though. Pretty good survivability otherwise. Just eating is kind of difficult. You like living and stuff. Boom. Loader. Oh, look at all that EXP. Well, oh, let's just go again. Something still funny is that on some of my older videos, whenever I see it, like a, a German symbol in game, people still comment on that, which I find really funny. Some of y'all have also been really nice about me not posting. But, um... Yeah. I mean, I feel bad about not posting. Am I lagging? Okay, thank god. I was scared I was, like, freezing and then suddenly he's just on me, eating me alive. What are y'all thoughts on the, the new food changes? I hate playing carnivore. Because, like, it's fun, but at the same time, it's really annoying. What? Why is this fun? It's really annoying just because you have to fight other stuff, and oftentimes it'll become this big war. People retaliate. You can't just live in peace as an apex. Or even in normal carnivore, to be honest. Give me. Nice. Look, that little thing is just eating all that food. Oh wait, let me hit him into it. Hold on. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there, Bucky. Gotta be really careful on those urchins. I'm not sure if the hitbox is accurate or not. It's a little scary. I hate parasites. Get away, get away! This dude built himself a whole wall. Pointless. <laughs> Hello? Oh. Stop. He said. He said stop. He said stop. Oh, tough luck, kid. No! Give me out, give me out, give me out, give me out. 
They're definitely in a party together. Okay, guys. Let me eat, please. I don't know if it's still the same thing where it's backwards. You eat better. I mean, we could test that right now to see if it's different. I thought it was still like that. I could be wrong. Because in the original build, he does have it facing the right way. Eats. Ah, what would I do without food stars? Or feeders, I guess. In general. Please, let me eat. Okay, that's all my food. I love that. Isn't Chameleon such a good ability? If I had to put on a tier list each ability, I'd put Chameleon in F. Because it makes me mad. Okay, guys. Found another. Invisible. Is that an invisible parasite? Why does this dude have Chameleon on a feeder build? Get away. Me when Parasite has no cooldown. Okay guys, move over. I've um, I post it on my channel. I don't expect y'all to watch the whole thing. Only a couple of y'all, cause like, it's two freaking hours. But it's a really good game, so even if you don't watch the video, you should still check it out. Cause it's um, it's turn based. It's really mobile friendly, which I know a lot of y'all evolve players use mobile. Cause, like turn based games, obviously, is simply you just take your turn. One of the things is that there's um combat actions. So, like after you do an action. You can kind of like tap the screen or do a little quick time event for bonus effects. That's super easy on mobile, you just tap the screen. And it's, it's just such a fun game. Like with the drought of a uh, turn based, well, I won't say there's a drought, there's just a lack of good turn based games on Roblox as of right now. And I mean out. I am following a couple other ones that are very promising, but obviously we don't know until it's released. I do have a, a, a high hope. I'm even kind of helping conceptualize a turn-based game upcoming. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. I don't think I've learned how to script that much the last time I updated you guys on it. Cause I, I still know the basics. I think I'm gonna get a lot better, at, like in general though, scripting next year. Cause I'm taking computer science principles. Which honestly, I kind of wish I took sooner, but you know, there's just not enough periods in the day to do all that, so it's rough. I wish school was longer for the good classes, not the bad classes. Fuck the bad classes. Does he use mandible? I forgot. I forgot if they use like mandible and dragon because I remember that build. I got jumped. I don't think it was in one of my videos. I got jumped by one of those builds. I just immediately die because he he can kind of just mandible and drag you in. That's a change that I thought was in the game, but I guess it's not. Mandible dragging on top of urchins and plus. So a change that I think should be added, which I'm pretty sure isn't in yet. Moving over disabled urchin, I mean unactive urchins, should break them. So you can't just spam urchins mid fight and auto win because they do a bajillion damage. What's that? New parse leaks? 
Guys. Is that drill? Oh. I'll let him EXP farm on me. Let me find food though. Oh shoot. Parasite's there. Like, what, are you, what is y'all's opinion on the best EXP farm? Because I, I, honestly, I haven't really done any EXP farming, even since when I used to play it a lot in, um, months ago. Okay, buddy. Hop off. Please? Let me, okay. I need to find that goofy feeder. Please get off me! Oh my god! Now all of a sudden mace doesn't want to work when I use it. Stay off me! Damn. Okay. I'm kind of losing him. I I don't know why you, he is. Okay. Well, I'm just done. Thank God. I love Silk Trap Link. Fuck that shit, man. I hate Parasite so much. And why is the Mace hitbox so huge that I can't even eat? It's annoying. Like, look. It's clipping on the maces, and I have to break it down before it... I can eat it. Okay, guys, he's just gonna sit there and block. Nice. Stay off me, please. <gasps> Parasites. I'd also put Parasite in F tier, because I hate playing against it. Er. Okay. Now I can't move. I. I love parasites. I'm gonna start saying some real mean stuff. And I can't even kill them because it gives so much damn health. And they nerfed mace damage, so now people who use it for defensive purposes can't. It's only good for stunning. Which is not what a defensive build uses. Okay, guys, let me eat, please. Please? <sighs> oh, the urchin dude left, I think. No, he's over there. I was gonna say, maybe I can actually go to a portion of the map that I haven't been able to before. I think, uh, I'll shoot the game, wasn't it? I don't remember. Gotta be very careful when eating this food. It's gonna be cooked in the silk lock if I mess up. Yeah, playing with too much appetite makes it boring. With a build like this, I kind of need it. Okay, why is he's just following me? Little bro thinks he's the Terminator. Okay. Thank God. I swear they last longer than me. Please? It's literally clipping it. Okay. Whatever.
move, please? Okay. Food. Okay, no. Oh my god! Food! 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 Okay, thank you. Look at all of this food. Yeah, I mean, EXP gain isn't as bad as it used to be. It used to be so much worse. Like, I, I'm only a couple DNA from where I lost. I lost 17, which is a hef kind of a hefty amount. I'm almost, like, back to what I lost. Not from the start of the video, because I died a couple times, but... From my most recent death, yeah. Oh lordy. Okay, this building might be cooked. Because you can't get any of the food. They got that for some reason. To be super safe with my thing, my duck. Oh yeah, I didn't, I forgot complete with all I was talking about like ten minutes ago. What's y'all's opinion on like the uh, the new food and stuff with uh, food decaying over time? And the uh, the black stuff. In my opinion, I like it. I think it adds, it's a new mechanic that adds a lot more variety. Um, I don't really know a bunch like migration and stuff and like moving based on where the food's at. Because normally, if you can't get across the map in like a couple seconds with a build, you're normally cooked. Unless it means like migration over like 10 seconds, then sure. I can see that. Oh yeah, there's also the uh, the classic event on Roblox. I'm not probably not gonna talk about it too much, but I think I'm gonna go over like a more in-depth video. But there's been like a lot of silly drama going on, like debating what exactly count, like what is the time period of classic. Okay, guys. Wait, come on. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. But, um, yeah, people were arguing about like the time period. Okay, leave me alone. No. I can take a single urchin if I have to. These are the things we have to consider. Me after a single urchin apex controls a quarter of the map. Well. Peak gameplay. Me after sitting stunned for 10 minutes. I don't, there's no way, I don't think there's any way I can get back from this unless I eat a lot. You don't get touched. One sneeze and it's over. Wait, you let me in right here. Thanks. Get off me. Get off me. Total how we made it to age 100? Hopefully. Because that's normally what we do for the videos. Like in general for Evolve, get to age 100. Normally total. 
We definitely want just in one life. But sometimes we're not that lucky. I'll speed off this dude. Oh, well, never mind. Yeah, if he's getting jumped by a stingray, I'm not doing that. Okay. Even though it's annoying, thankfully that urchin blocks off a lot of the uh, big dudes. So I at least have a... Okay, am I stuck? Thankfully, no. Kind of. No, we're fine. There's a lot of carnivores on this map, which is a little annoying. Something I think is really cool is how there's like such a loyal community to evolve. Okay. What the evolve players yapping? He just said, oh. He's hitting the thinker right now. Please? Please? Leave me alone! Leave me alone! There we go. I mean, we've been playing for quite a while already. Time flies when you're having so much fun. Me when the server has three apex urchins. I mean urchin apexes. Mm, we just one shot that dude. Um, I'll set a goal on the one of the video. I think at least age fifty. Actually, no, that's too long. How long is it? Is it like 10 seconds? Age 30? Actually, no, let's try and hit somebody into one of these urchins. I think that's a good way to end off the video. <laughs> I want to do it again, that was fun. Okay. Most defensive for uh, Mace user. Fuck. Oh my god. Oh my god. me through okay but he's on my hit list now yeah I'm cooked we're not we're saved oh yeah I'm dying to Medusa but oh, never mind wait well Little bro, what's the point of going invisible? We can see your tentacles. Oh, uh, what's this? Oh, my Lancer build. Let's use it. So, uh, I mean, yeah. It's funny, this build can eat better than this base build. Oh, fuck. I'm just gonna wait it out. Push through! Push through! Okay, we're fine. Mm 
But, um, yeah, if you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Expect a lot more variant content. Obviously, I'm still going to try and do a lot of Evolve. But, you know, I do like doing other stuff. Oh, yeah. Be, um, be ready for my Eras 12 through 21 video. Because that's probably coming out this week. I, uh, I have it planned and stuff. I just need to record and edit it. So, uh, yeah, if you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any uh, game suggestions, comment down below. In fact, comment down below. What is your least favorite part in Evolve? Um, also, you can join the Discord if you want to suggest builds for Ancient Ancestors. And... I think that's it. Is that everything? Do people still smash the bell? I don't know, you can do that if you want. I don't really care. But, um, yeah. Have a good day, y'all. Bye-bye!